Oh. Yo, what's up? Yo, let me send out the, the damn social media shit here. What's up with everybody? Y'all ready for this? Let's see, it. go to Twitter. Da, 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 da. All right. Everything should be set up. All right. Oh, God. I had my shit on not mute. All right, let's boot up this goddamn game, goddammit. I have a feeling we're going to finish Armored Core 2 today. Depending on how sleepy I get from alcohol, because I'm drinking, we may, may... Start Armored Core 2, another age of Armored Core 3. See, now, I got a problem. Um, and that problem is fucking Armored Core 2, another age. Hold on, let me get a drink here. Um, I don't know if I want to fuck, I don't know if I want to stream that shit. Uh, because that shit kind of sucks. Uh, there's no arena. Just a dumb, kind of dumb, uh, story mode that don't go nowhere. Um, and it's a lot worse than 3, and it's a lot worse than Armored Core 2 vanilla. You know, this shit right here. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm in a good mood. I've been drinking. We Dio. Uh, we're gonna beat the shit out of this fucking story mode. And then when we're done with that, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Hope y'all excited. I'm excited. I'm excited as shit. We're gonna change some shit around with the, uh, the, the mech here, here, though, here, here, in a second, though, here. Um. So the missiles... <clears throat> The missiles are not that big a deal here at the end of all things. So, oh shit. I don't have the middle missile equipped. Um, so what we're actually going to do... Man, I'm going to have to buy it. Uh, what we're actually going to do with our uh, with our uh, eight armor core here is we're gonna just going to uh, attack a shitty little regular missile onto the back of the thing. Just this thing should be more than enough. Um, but I want to look around and see if there isn't something around. Because we're like right on the edge of the... Actually, probably help. Nah, there's nothing in the way of good... Low weight... Thing we can use. So we're going to grab... Uh, we're going to grab one of these things. And that... The ion cannon on the shoulder and the Karasawa, uh, those are going to carry us uh, through the end of the game here in a second, don't you know? Right, this is still overweight. See, we're overweight by like 45 fucking points. I could probably just switch out the head. Yeah, I could, sw I could switch out the head. Hmm. Hmm. I should have. Oh no, I don't have that. I have that on my other one. I'm gonna buy a couple heads here. A couple of the good ones I know are good. That's a good one. Now maybe some arms too, because there's a there's a lighter arm. There's this one here, uh, which is actually not a bad arm set up. And I'm pretty sure I got the heavy legs equipped. I'm going to have to double check that. Let's take a look, see. 
Yeah, we have the heavy legs equipped. We have a decent arm equipped. Now let's take a look. First of all, if we switch out the head, like bam, that gets us under weight. So that's cool. But I don't I don't know if that's if that's where we want to be. 472 out of 6500. Core weight point is just about a hundred under. Shitties, that brings everything down. Alright. So what's the difference in the arms here? There's a difference of 400 there, almost to the point where we could equip a bigger back thing if we wanted. So the qu- mm, there's a hiccup there. The question is, do we want to sacrifice an arm or a head? So here's what we got right now for arms. We got 1,700 armor points. Um and seven accuracy. Those are the big stats I'm looking at. 1,707. This one is 1,607. <clears throat> so it's a difference of almost 100 armor points or hit points, basically. Let's go to the head. The head, armor points is 898 versus 784. So that's another difference of about 100. with a dramatically decreased radar. Hmm, dramatically decreased radar. A worse scanning interval. You know what, I really kinda don't wanna switch out this head. Let's see what the arms look like. Arms are a little dinky. Energy supply, 90 versus 100. Defense. The defense is trash. Um, going from one to the other. Are there any other arms we can get with an accuracy of seven? See, I'm really kind of concerned about the accuracy uh, as we press forward here, especially since I'm equipping a high damage, uh, low ammo, uh, 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 right arm weapon. So yeah, I'm concerned. Let's take a look at some of the other arms. That one was at 1200 with seven. Okay, this is... Okay, that's the basic equipment. You know, fuck it, why not buy it? Just in case. Stable medium weight. See, that weighs more. The best arms by far are the heavy ones. These super heavy ones right here have an accuracy of 10. Really, really friggin' good. But we can't, we can't use them. This, by the way, this shit I'm doing right now is what this game series is all about. Is just tweaking little shit on your mech. Alright. Equipping the basics, or the basic entry level arm, is more than enough to bring me under. It's got a better energy defense, but a much lower shell defense. This thing has a really good shell defense. Um. The armor points about a hundred less. It's actually less than switching over to this one here. 310, 315 versus 294, 278. The energy defense goes up on both of these. The energy supply is super low on the, the entry level model. It's a little better here. Recoil control of 264. You know what? Between this entry level MROD, the EAN SO and the EAN 02 BG. Is that SO? Yeah, it is. That's not a 5, is it? I don't think that's a 5. Like, this is the better, the better arm. The, the defense sucks. And the AP loss is going to be painful, but, like, as it is, that means that we can actually equip whatever the fuck we want. in terms of missiles and whatnot here. In fact, it almost might be worth, whoops, it almost might be worth picking up a middle missile. Now see, okay, this thing has energy level 44. I can equip the machine gun shoulder. I can equip the machine gun shoulder and still be underweight. Actually, 
that might be worth it. All right, let's go back to the shop here. We've got money to burn, so I can just kind of buy whatever I want and kind of figure it out from there. I'm not exactly using the missiles for a lot of stuff, so I'm wondering, like this thing, it's got five, five or six shots. I think it's got six shots, four or five shots. 24 divided by four, 14, six, nine, sex, sex. It's sex. Okay. Why the fuck can't I do this math? I'm about to take my fucking calculus final. I can't do 24 divided by four, some bitch. Anyway, the weight's way down, so we're actually gonna buy that. <clears throat> You're now gonna start looking into some more heavy hitting um, equipment here. So stuff like that back unit, that, that laser gun there. It does a lot of damage. I want to switch over to energy. I probably shouldn't be so focused on energy weapons. Fuck am I getting a call from Ohio? This is some unprofessional shit right here. Fuck off! Some bitch. Alright. Because that's what we have right now. And having that 44... Um, having 44 rounds in that is actually pretty good, but I kind of want something that hits a little harder. And this hits... What's that, like... 0.7 times as hard? 1.7 times as hard? Ah, shit. Who knows, we might run with two of those, shit. It's probably not smart, but I almost... wouldn't mind completely getting away from, uh... Why have I not purchased and it? Are you fucking kidding me? I haven't even installed optional parts? God. What the hell kind of content have I been streaming? I haven't been equipping my optional parts. It's like not putting decals on your fucking Fast and Furious car. Don't you know? Here we go. So these optional parts, they increase your they increase your your AC's uh, like base stats and stuff, um, and they're actually decent modifiers, and they don't weigh anything. So you can just jam them all right the fuck in. So we can decrease damage. I'm actually increased interested in decreasing energy weapon damage. Increases turning speed, energy weapon power, and I've got four spots left. Speeds up energy weapon fire, maybe. Reduces it. Ooh. Reduces energy use from firing, so. We'll keep the damage and we'll reduce energy use, especially if we're going to like an almost all energy weapon mech here. Because we can. I can go all high damage directed energy weapons here. In fact, I could probably equip two of those friggin' shoulder cannons. And the nice thing about having such heavy hitting energy weaponry is, is yeah, you really, oops, you really have to watch your energy use, like you can't be boosting around all the time, but you shoot something once and usually it dies. Um, also, unequipping a missile Oh, fuck. Unequipping a missile will allow me to change my extension. Okay, yeah, it's... What am I overweight by there? Ah, oh, I'm overweight by like 72. Shit. This one I'm just under. That one I'm over. I'm actually under and over by the same amount here. Hmm. We'll go with this. I like having different energy options. Because this one does a thousand damage. That one does 1,700 damage, and this one does 15. So we've got a big, medium, and little energy shot. And then from there, we want to switch out the extension because we don't have to worry about support missiles anymore. And we can switch out to a missile interceptor, of which I can purchase a better one. That thing is heavy as shit! Damn. All right. 
You know, when I first considered streaming this game, I considered the idea of, you know, well, people don't want to see you tweak shit. You can't make that interesting. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, I want extensions. But I feel like it's, I feel like it's been okay. It's been, been all right. This and this are the two uh, best interceptors. This one's probably the best. Uh, it's not a, it's not an energy interceptor, which an energy interceptor is fine if you're using solid weaponry. Um, so like missiles and actual bullets. Uh, but since I'm, I've switched over to an energy build here, I really want something that doesn't drain my energy here. So I'm going to go with that. So we've super tweaked ourselves out here for energy fire. Oh, wait a damn minute. Okay, so by equipping that, I can equip two of the big gun. <laughs> so I have exactly 100 shots, none of which do less than 1,500 damage. And I've got a big energy blade on my arm. That's fucking awesome. That's actually really cool. And we can actually look at the performance here. Excellent performance. They add up um, a lot of the numbers here in order to give you like an overall performance grade. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. You know what else I want to do? Since we're fucking sitting here tweaking shit. Uh, Dio's the world. Let's take a look at a picture of Dio's Zwarudo. Because I feel like it would be fun and funny to switch the color scheme here. <laughs> nope, not color scheme. I want color edit. Alright, so the basic color for Dio Zwarudo is like a like a gold more like, so let's turn up the yellow a lot here. And then let's bring up the blue to get a kind of golden, almost piss colored, fuck it. Oops. Uh, let's go over to joints, because his joints are kind of a dark blue. Kind of a grayish dark blue, that's pretty good. Um, probably the secondary color will end up being that as well. Or maybe a different shade of this yellow here. I don't know. Do we want to go with Dio's The World Colors? I feel like it'd be fun. All right, the orange there, we can do that, that, uh, that dark blue as well. I'm going to put that about there. Now we want to switch over the, to the blue like that. Okay. This is fucking happening. All right, you got green accents. Like the heart on the chin and the chest and the shoulders and stuff. So we'll put in a nice green line there. Okay, we've seriously kind of built... Zawarudo. I'm, uh, I'm okay with this. Uh, it actually looks alright. <laughs> I'm actually really fucking happy with how stupid that looked. Uh, it's a little more yeller. A little more yeller. Right about there. That works. Actually get that a little more brown. How do I make brown? I turn up the... No, don't turn up the green. Turn up the red for brown. Yeah, that's a little more brown. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We've built the world. Dio's the world. I'm actually super fucking happy with this. We did beat the entire arena, so now it's time for missions. Here, we'll save really quick, and then we will continue on. Zawarudo! 
fuck yourself. That's not funny. Ugh. Burp. Alright, saving data. Save complete. Come on, come on, come on. Quit fucking around. Let's get the mouse out of the screen. Burp. Close the video preview since we know everything's good. Hopefully the audio is good. I can't... It sounded fine. Actually, you know what? Really quick. It sounded fine. Actually, you know what? Really quick. It sounded fine. Yeah, it sounds good, except now you guys are going to have to deal with that reverb. Ah, oh, from that stream dare, don't you know? Okay, so we've saved it. We've built the world. Let's do let's do all the missions. As part of the LCC reorganization, the new director. Oh shit, that's right. We had mail to read. Some some shit went down. Uh, Mars Unification Declaration. So here's your big story dump. Unchecked corporate competition has taken its toll on Mars, just as it had on Earth years ago. However, now that the battles have ended, all corporations will fall into line under LCC's control. Oh shit! Uh, with the cessation of a series of senseless battles, we, the LCC, hereby make a declaration. Oh no! We have achieved the unification of Mars and have brought order and peace to this planet. Son of the beach! Okay. So basically, everybody was fighting amongst themselves and they fucked up and the LCC, the government, took over. Now we have a mission. As part of the LCC reorganization, the new director is coming from Earth. He'll arrive at Viltur Spaceport within a couple, couple of days. days. Guard the of spaceport. Course, there's no one left to resist us, but still, we must display our power to the new director. In other words, this is a demonstration. Okay. All you are required to do is wait along the perimeter of the airport. So fucking... We're paying you just to sit there. Soon we'll all Raymond will be under LCC's it. command. This is Boy, your last job. Guys. The oh man, it's so our last job and then we forces. win the game. Do not that sounds away. too good to be true. All. Right? You guys? <laughs> you guys? Sounds totally cool, right? <laughs> oh no, uh oh. Something happened. What is this? There's people. He's putting his hand on his hip. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. It's going down. He put his hand on his hip. Operation name is Halloween. They've arrived. Man, I'm out of alcohol. I need to go grab another beer. I'm drinking cheap. I don't want to spend a ton of money beer. Oh, no. Who would have expected that? This would happen. Also, he shot him with a machine gun and blew him up with a machine gun. Does that make sense? This is pretty much the best you get out of uh, uh, cutscenes in this game. Commencing operation. Sure. We'll take over the airport. Boil. I got a boil. You Destroy pop my boil. Destroy all M&M forces with our new sick energy loadout. Oh shit! That's not cool, you guys. You guys should really stop that. My fucking armored core has just been sitting around. I gotta get out of line of fire for a second here. I'm actually having a lot of trouble with this uh, energy only build. Ah, maybe this was a mistake this early in the game. Switch back over to the Karasawa. Because these guys are legit fucking me up. 
Let's take care of the cannon plotter here for a second. Okay, that one hit. Looks like there's one over here, right? Just stuck on the geometry. There you are. Both stuck. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're gonna switch away from this build. It was working really well on like the last couple missions, but uh, here I'm having problems. Because I'm losing a ton of health. Fighting ACs, so maybe I'll switch in a missile for uh, ACs. I wish the splash damage on this was more significant. Yeah, I get it. Pretty sure this part from here on is just uh, clean up. Now nah, I'm not doing all the all the hidden parts. Thunder, hello by the way. Um, I'm just working on the story. I spent a ton of time tweaking the 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 AC into a pure energy build. And then um, coloring it as the, the world. Um, are you really gonna make me walk over to the edge of the fucking? There we go. Yeah, I may switch it for. I don't know if I'm gonna switch it for a chain gun or a. Uh... Shit. Wow, a hit from that thing did not kill you. Ah. I'm not so much worried about the energy drain, it's just having a, a, a big missile launcher on the back is really good for dealing with uh, armored cores in the story. We'll meet again. So I didn't fail, um, that's supposed to happen. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab me some drink to drink. Some alcohol. on piano oh man the audio artifacting is back well that's fucking wonderful I'm kind of celebrating cuz it knocked out 33% of my fucking uh, finals here all right to all Ravens corporations the government LCC we Ravens have too many restrictions we should be able to kill each other however the fuck we want this Weird, dumb Japanese bullshit. Okay, we got another one. What's it say? Is the Earth government, the LCC, is no longer functional due to a mutiny of the special forces and a lack of command system caused by the absence of a leader. So basically, they put all their leaders on that fucking plane. They got blown up. That was stupid of them. In the circumstances, we, the Earth government, will be taking temporary control of Mars. Our current objective is to suppress all rogue elements, starting with Leos Klein. We ask for your understanding and support. God damn it, King Thunder! I'm not having issue with the paper mache ACs. I'm having issue with hitting them. Because, I mean, you've seen my style. I tend to circle strafe on a boost while unloading into them. And that's kind of tough to do with directed energy weapons. <laughs> so, fuck it. We're doing it with... We'll do it live! Actually, I'm kind of interested. If I'm going to have the issue like that, but I want to keep like a very heavy back thing, maybe I'll switch in that and a missile launcher. We'll see. The fact is that like at this point, almost anything I do... Ah, uh, words I can't think of. Almost anything I do with my setup is going to give me excellent stats. 
graphics. See, even with this, I could equip something heavier than that. I don't think I have anything heavier than that. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go with that. And... Hmm. I don't know, Thunder, what do you think? Should I equip the multi-missile launcher or the multiple warhead missile launcher? That thing's really good for uh, the arena, but in the confined spaces where we're going to be doing a lot of the fighting here, I'd almost be happier with having a giant blanket shot from that thing, you know? I'm gen genuinely not sure what I want to do, but now that we're bringing the weight load down a bit, we can switch out to the... the heavier arms there. You know what? Um, let's equip that. Whoops. Let's equip that and see how we do with the heavier arms. Overweight by... Oh. Oh, those are actually... That's... Oh. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Much to your core. I didn't buy a single light core or anything like that. Wow, okay. Let's see. And I definitely don't have the weight to equip. I just go out like that. Just kind of flail around. Yeah, I don't I don't have the, uh, the lack of weight to equip anything less than that. So that's pro that's this loadout is pretty much almost our best bet at this point. Although, you know what, with the extra weight, I can equip a better booster, I can equip, can I equip the better, since I'm running heavy energy, do I have enough to, I don't think I have enough to equip the better generator, but since we're drowning in funds, we might as well buy a few extra generators and see if there isn't a better one we can equip here. 38, because this one's 650, and that one's the best by, by far. But, uh, oh boy, is it, uh, not awesome. Maybe we'll look at a different radiator here. Man, it's getting hot here. My house faces east to west. So at the end of the day, around this time of year, this side of the house where I'm streaming from gets kind of retarded hot. Parasaur grenade launcher and laser cannon along with the moonlight blade. He's a bastard. Yeah, with my patented cheating my way to victory um, thing, he's no problem. I actually, on my other save, I beat the game just to see what was coming up and then beat him um, with no issues. Uh, so yeah, he's a bastard if you, if, you, if you don't skis him out like I intend to. Good on Units, arm units, optional parts. We've done all of that. Not worried about that. Oh, the booster, that's right. I'm just gonna look at this booster, because that thing is actually really nice. Let's go back here. So let's look. That throws us over by 159. And none of the other generators I have are any better. That midweight one throws us off. And that one is not better than the one I have right here. Not worried about inside shit. Let's go back up to the booster. Shit! By 19! Shit! <laughs> Son of a bitch! I know we can do better than that. I think we can do better than that. I think because this one's pretty damn good. I don't know if it's better than the one I have equipped, but it's not like we don't have the money floating around to just buy it and see. Okay, except for the charge drain being much higher. This does give us a better, better overall. 
Not worried about changing out the fire control system. That's a weird looking computer, I gotta say. I don't need any of that. Okay, so we have the... <clears throat> We have that multi-missile launcher. Okay, we're at the point where we've optimized the hell out of this thing. Performance again. Yep, still excellent. In fact, I think we've gone up a few points here. So this is good. Let's do another quick save. I almost never use that shoulder piece just because it's like, I like having more ammo because uh, I miss a lot, which might have something to do with my setup, but who knows, shut up. <laughs> um, but we will see. We will see how this goes here. I'm going to start a mission briefing, and I'm actually going to take off the undershirt that I'm wearing here. So, bear with me, gents and ladies. At this time, LCC is unable to function due to a lack of leadership and manpower. This request is being made directly by us, the Earth government. Now the special forces have revolted and now occupy a number of major Martian facilities. Even Zeo City and its headquarters, recently captured by us, have been taken over. Ah! On account of this, we've devised a plan to regain control, but we're going to require the assistance of a raven. We hereby request that you eliminate the special forces ah! running rampant in the city. Face with my damn head. Fucking. Okay, I'm back. We ask that you please enter the city and destroy the occupying oh. forces. Meanwhile, we'll move one of our teams from the headquarters. I hope that Twitch isn't building. offended by socially acceptable male nudity. The location of the revolt's leader, Leo's Klein, is still unknown. If you see him, take him out. This is a top priority. We'll await your return. <clears throat> They want their their old man dead. Here we go. Operation Deep Sleep. Oh yeah, this one's a fun one. I think with the missiles I have equipped, these guys shouldn't be any issues. See, I like using missiles against ACs a lot more. And directed like energy weapons against um, either slow moving ACs that you hit really Roger. easy or, or like quickly. MTs and stuff and disorder units. Main system engaging combat mode. Did it, was that a disorder unit? We'll enter the main building I think it is. Wow, I got him no problem. Shit. These things have no response. Let's go grab some more energy here. Well, those aren't disorder units. They're just, like, energy tanks, I guess. There we go. That's what we want. Yeah, look at that. Wait, we're almost done here. Come on, hold on. I love how they're yelling at me, come on, hold on, like I'm not... Like, I'm having some sort of issue here. There we go, there's that one down. Where'd you go? You're right above me. Yeah, you are. You can come down. Just above me, unable to fire at me the entire time. Look at that, I can't hit it. Which is why I like the missiles, because at least the missiles home enough. Finally got me. And... Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it! Oh!
Hmm. I'm grumpy about that. I have new mail. From Nell. Klein is asking all ravens to join his revolt. Those that have responded gather in various locations across Mars. The special forces are about to become the most powerful force on the planet. We're redoing that. I think we're redoing that. Whew. If Klein's goal was to control Mars, perhaps all he's done up until now was preparation. By that I mean enter... Excuse me. Entering the government service and creating the fiercest fighting force ever. But is this really the case? I don't think this is his true intention. It's too much like a dream. Fuck you, shut up. Alright, is that mission still there? Yes, it is. We're getting rid of this big clunky thing. Switching it out for that. I could equip something much heavier now. This entire stream will not be me fucking around with a, a armored core loadouts. I swear to grod. Grod? I swear to grod. Frockin' furred me. Damn, over by nine with that. Oh well. That just means we got a good, a good loadout here. I think that decreased my overall because I, I got rid of a ton of offensive power. Alright, let's try this again. We asked for look. If we have issues with this again, I'm going to go to a more boring loadout, unfortunately. I think the high-risk, high-reward, um, like, Kurosawa and, like, energy weapon setup is, uh, commencing attack. fun for the end of the game. <clears throat> Especially Let's the last couple down. missions. Main system engaging combat mode. Take care of forces. Oh wow, you got me right in the face. In the face! I really ought to get out of this. Okay, did any of that hit? Did not. Oh, I guess it did. Almost Shit. Done. Come on, hold on. I didn't see the hit indicator. Alright, I refill fast. Come on. Okay, there's a couple hits. So, man, this is uh, taking all my concentration here. Um, one thing I do not like about this game that I don't think they fixed. Um, I know they didn't fix it in the expansion, but I don't think they fixed in general is the way um, the way the radar works. There we go. Access to the building, and we'll take out the special forces. Um, because the way the radar works, oh, well, that thing actually does a fair amount of damage. Uh, the way the radar works is the color of the reticle for enemies changes, or the color of the icon for enemies changes, based on whether they are higher than you or lower than you. Um, there's some audio artifacting, unfortunately. Um, it's blue if they're higher, red if they're lower. And then like a yellow or something in between. Uh, anyways, I don't like it because you have... I, I, I can't just like look at it and be like, oh, they're higher or lower. My brain has to do like a, like a check. What they should have done is it's a, it's a filled in chevron, right? It's a triangle. It should point up if they're above. It should point down if they're below. I hope I'm not flashing gang signs on my fucking stream here. <laughs> Alright, let's do underground lab. 
Continuing the same mission, basically. We've received a report from the infiltration team. They've discovered a research lab constructed during the first terraforming underneath Zeomatrix headquarters. Zeomatrix headquarters has been retaken, but the special forces still occupy the underground lab. We are requesting that you mop up these remaining forces. Okay. Disorder units have also been detected in the underground research lab. Please be advised. Okay. I'm trying to post the, like an Armored Core fan page or something to like let people know that I'm uh, streaming the game because it'd be fun to have a few more people hanging out. I mean, for four o'clock on a Tuesday, where I am, anyways. Uh, that might be cool. Oh, no, no big. System engaging combat mode. Waste of a shot. My brain is working faster than my targeting system. What's happening? Our system is jammed. Oh, did I miss you with the version? No, I shot somebody else. That's what it was. You'll have to make it on your own. So this... Get him, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on! Just wasting ammo and time and all sorts of stuff. Did I not hit that one with my bullet gun? I guess not. I've gone through 40% of the enemies and I've gone through 16 rounds on my damn. It's not too bad. Barely taking any damage so far here. enemies coming up here eventually there's a couple I was checking out uh, the the uh, expansion to this um, another age another age not more actually. yeah another age holy crap there are some poor poor missions in that Pretty fast. Someone help. It's moving. It's moving. I'm having a movement. A bowel movement. I don't know. I apologize for my inappropriate childish behavior on this Twitch stream. Alcohol is the devil. That's why it's outlawed for sale on, in the South. On Sundays. <clears throat> I got fucked up by this disorder unit. The good news is it doesn't move fast, so it's uh, very susceptible to the carousel. Basically, anything that moves slower than an AC, like a medium speed AC, is susceptible to the carousel. Ooh, did you see that? He got me with it. Oh, he's dead already. Beautiful. Apparently that's all I gotta do. <clears throat> see, there's an armored Boop. core Reddit. Oh, they totally allow... Cool.
Sorry, give me a second here. Alley right now. Okay, sub. Fuck it. Submitifying. Let's see if anybody comes to hang out with us. All right, I got I got new mail. I got it. Let's see what the mail says. Research reports. It's actually kind of nice once you get to this part in the story. It kind of gets interesting, and it starts to really pick up the pace, which is cool. All right. I've already told you that Klein was a member of the Mars research team, but as I searched through the files, I found something of interest. It's a report filed by Klein himself. According to the report, a central control system exists on Mars, and all information regarding the history of Mars is stored there. The ones that have access to the system are the armored machines unique to Mars. These machines are most likely the disorder units we have been discovering. A similar report was found in documents from before the Great Destruction. It seems many thought them too far-fetched. Under the current circumstances, it's a little harder to dismiss. If Klein's goal is to access the... Hang on. Bear with me. Right on the very front of the page. That's awesome. If Klein's goal is to access the central control system, where does this system exist? And does Klein know something about its location already? Yeah, probably. On to the next mention. Space Station Assault. Let's go to the Space Station. We'd like you to continue the removal of the special forces from areas they've At least occupied. this guy's... Please head for Shitty the Hammerhead Space Southern Station. Southern Western Mars. accent sounds slightly genuine. Reports indicate that the special forces are concentrated on the space station. And judging from this <clears> show of force, we assume that Leo's clan is there as well. Nobody cares. The main objective is the removal of all special forces occupying the station. If clan is encountered, please take him out also. We'll give you access to Rapture. That's our Mars orbit elevator for this mission only. Please make your way to the space station ASAP. We'll await your return. I feel like they try to mumbo jumbo up the um, uh, the the mission briefings and stuff in this game with like operation speech um, and like military speak, uh, trying to basically make it sound more official and like cool. I think it's dumb. If I'm a mercenary. All you gotta say is, you're going here, you're shooting these guys. Don't shoot this shit. Don't fuck, don't fucking shoot this shit, but those guys, shoot those fucking guys, and we go pay you. That's all I need. Oh well. What am I hearing? What am I hearing? Ah, it's in the game. Music gets good at this part of the game too. None of that weird experimental techno shit. Just straight up like, yeah, just get a good beat going and a good like fucking like a bass line and yeah, just like Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, that thing's really booking it. You won't get lost if you followed the sign. Um, number one, number one in-game mission ever. Oh yeah, I gotta hit the damn button on the side here. No, there we go. So I love how you have to hit those things. There we go. All right, one of these, one of these is the is is like the exit that you have to get to later. Oops. Okay, here's where we pull out the missile. Shit. 
Look at that. It just took two two shots from that thing. Granted, it's eight missiles, but it just took two shots from that thing to fucking murder that guy. Fucking fuck that guy up, don't you know? Don't you know? Oh, yeah, I know. I just did these missions, so I should know it. I should know exactly where I'm going. Oh look! A Actually, these things What's are kind of big deal. Ah shit! I screwed up. I fucked up. I had a problems, the real problems. There we go. Man, that that double cooling rate is uh, absolutely key. Come on, come on. So many issues with like aiming today. Oh, that was fast. Let's go get him then. They've ordered you to return immediately. Am I good? We'll leave the rest up to the government troops. This is good. Am I done? Can I leave? The prototype has been destroyed. Nope. Don't let him escape. Yeah. I apologize. Fucking camera in this game. That's the last shot from that I'm wasting on it. Oh, that's the last shot I had to waste on that. Where am I trying to go? Gotta be right behind me, doesn't it? It's gotta be, it's gotta be like open now, right? Yeah, there's my way out, perfect. This is east of Eden, ID signal confirmed, commencing recovery. It's a, it's a really interesting universe they've built around these games where basically it's corporations fighting over everything. Honestly, that's probably the fucking future. I it's cool. It's pretty it's pretty it's cool. Kitty! Mission objective achieved. Come here, kitty! System switched to normal mode. Come here! Come on stream! Come on! Come on! You act like I'm acting suspicious. Come here. Oh, that's a good kitty. Come here, buddy! Oh, it's a good kitty. Say hello to Mr. Kitty. Say, I am a kitty. I am a kitty. Meow, meow, meow. I pilot the Mac. Hang on, let's watch him pilot the Mac. Meow, meow, meow. I play the game. Meow, meow, meow. No, 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 no. Okay, that's enough fucking with the cat. Good kitty. <laughs> I apologize. It was funny to me. I swear to God, if PETA throws... Pig's blood all over my stream. Okay. Here's the thing I never got about PETA. Where do they get the fucking pig's blood they throw all over the people who are hurting the animals? Don't you have to kill an animal to get pig's blood? What are you doing, PETA? What are you doing? Aw, oh, he's a good kitty. Yeah, it's a good kitty. He was an adoption. We adopted him uh, in the south suburbs of Chicago, Illinois. It's legal to fully declaw animals there. I don't know where y'all are in some places. Like I'm in California now, and it is not. It is you cannot declaw an animal like a like a cat at we all. We have confirmed Leo's client's um, whereabouts. But clearly, He's they fucked up Rapture's his declawing because his his the, 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 the ends of his toes are all possible. fucked up, like gnarled to shit. It looks like it would hurt, but it doesn't seem to bother him too now, much. Now, Rapture's reactor it's like, is oh, its heart. If it's destroyed, the power it gathers and supplies to Mars will be lost. Total lap In a worst-case scenario, good damage kitty. to the reactor has could everything to do with what's going on in Armored Core right now. Rapture is an important symbol to those living on Mars. It must not be lost. You got to remove Klein without destroying Rapture. So we were on the space station. Now we're going for the space elevator. So clearly he's doing something Klein. in space. We'll await you. 
You get some huge deduction for destroying parts of the uh, the level here. Excuse me. Main system engaging combat mode. Don't attack the reactor. Kind of a Explosion tremendous pain in the ass. Take you with it. Man, how many different buttons and doors and shit do I have to open? And My mech does not look like the world. It looks like fucking construction equipment. Not gonna lie, I'm uh, slightly disappointed with how it turned out. Like, it looked great, like, in the garage. But, like, now that we're out of the garage, not so much. Watch out. They've planted bombs that are oh. difficult to Fuck it! Outrun your fucking explosions, assholes. God damn it. Come on! There we go. You know what? Why am I wasting giant shots on these little... Okay, that was actually kind of cool. <laughs> she threw some bombs, and then all of a sudden, Let's oh no, he's a big angry man. This, this guy sounds like he's like 60 years old. Look at him, he looks so cool. Don't you want your mech to look just like him? Oh yeah. I am fucking up this place. I don't give a shit. I've got, I've got money. I'll pay for a new fucking space station. I don't give a shit. I'm causing way more damage to the facility than I am to him. It's actually kind of funny to me. Fuck your stupid space station. The Ether Master? That's fucking actually super sick. Not as sick as Dio's The World. <laughs> Let's fight. Rick. Man, I can't decide if I should have another drink or just start chugging water right now since I've been so damn hot. I'm Let's fight. Rick. I don't know. Who knows? Either way, we fucked him up and like the entire Let's space fight. station. Sound like you're having problems there, bro. Do you have some, uh, do you have some gnarly burritos there? Do you have some fucked up sushi? Oh, you're exploding, so that's, that's the burritos, it's right? That's the bur oh, nope, it's a it's robot. Here. The robot was eating burritos. Your mission is complete. Let's head back to base. We did it, we the best. Hey, Thunder, question for you. How is the quality of this video? Because it seems okay on Twitch, but when I export the shit to YouTube, it's like sub 480p, which is garbage. Actually, the point that I'm considering upgrading my internet to see if I can't get a better stream. We've confirmed that Klein is headed for Phobos, one of the moons orbiting the red planet. It's believed Klein is headed for Phobos because the Martian control system is located there. Ruins of an ancient civilization have been discovered on Phobos previously, but they've remained untouched due to the great number of disorder units there. However, given Klein's current power, it's possible that he'll succeed in entering them. He's entering the disorder unit, like sexually? It isn't known whether Klein wants to access the control system, but it's believed his true objective lies there. Okay. Okay, just tell me how much you're gonna pay me and blah blah blah. We've made a mistake. An LCC, LCC military facility has been overtaken by the special forces, and Belena Corporation's STAI battleship has been launched from its underground berth. It seems the upheavals around the planet were a ploy designed by Klein to split our forces. His objective was to take over the military facility and launch the STAI. Here's my problem. It seems like the entirety of human civilization is being, like, outgunned and outmaneuvered by this one the asshole on Mars. STAI is a battleship designed by Belena. 
with enough firepower to destroy the entire planet. That's stupid, Japan! The fact is, Klein has acquired the greatest weapon on Mars. Klein must be stopped. Right now, he's how do you let that? Global, how do you let that as the commander of the, the thing that can that destroy position. the planet? How do you just let that kind of fall out of your hands? How do you go? Oh, oh, we enter the STAI whoops. via the transport ship and shut uh -huh. it down. A lot of ravens have been hired for this mission. Your combined strength is the key to success. We wish you the Bullshit. best. Of, of course, you wish me the best of luck. He's gonna destroy the planet with his big fucking dick ship if we don't. Stupid. Look at this, look at how cool this is. It's like all the warriors. I think that one's supposed to be us. We got the helmet. We might actually No, we don't have the same arms, but we've got the, the we've got the, the headpiece. The armored core headpiece. Look at this big dumb thing. Also that's a hell of a defense on this thing that they shoot one of one of the dropships. Good job. Drop. You guys did it. Look at that moon in the background. It isn't even spherical. It looks silly. You look silly. Guy. Zavardo! We're working on opening the hatch. So they start you aiming at those things, but uh, those are not the problem here. The problem are the aircraft flying around. The other problem is that the, like for the Karasawa specifically, no splash damage. So when it comes to dealing with the... Shit, there's three shots away. So when it comes to dealing with the aircraft, you can't take out a ton of them at once actually much more beneficial to use um, your chain gun at that point. Yeah, that thing is destroyed. Like, think about how well the uh, machine gun I used to use did on the uh, aircraft. I just basically wait for them to fly at us and then just blow us to blow them to pieces, you know? You're out. Ow. Stick to the ground for a bit here. Need to get a refill, I think. The is open. Proceed. Yeah, you ain't shit. Except that I just wasted all of my... Oh, God! Oh, it's all... It's all going downhill from here. Yes, I know the hatch is open and I can proceed to the next part of the mission here, but I'm having fun blowing up all these dumb battleship pieces. Zero point. Let's skate our happy little asses around until we find the door. Here's the door. I was just screaming, y'all having fun? Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Alright, let's rock. Okay, janitor at the recording facility. Thank you for your stellar line read to go along with the horrible audio artifact, which I've only experienced with this game, so... Yeah. Oh god, he's dead. Our friend is dead and there was nothing we could do. I'm sorry you died, friend whose name I don't know and I don't know anything about you. All I know is that you existed for like six seconds in a cutscene. I'll tell your family that you told them to pay me. It's not, it's not bad, is it? Oops. I think I needed to go this way. Yeah, I did. Okay. The layout in here is kind of confusing. I mean... Got all of them in 
here, it is not. Oh. I think I was just shooting at it. Even now. We need to go this way. I think I need to go this way. Dealing with the moving ones is kind of an incredible pain in the ass. Especially since they keep sidestepping, like they can't just sit out here in the corners and hit them. I've actually got to get up close so that I can lose my lock immediately. Some of the audio in this game is... Like, for the most part, the weapons sound cool. You know, for a game that came out in, like, fucking 2000, it's a good game. It's a real good game. I like it. I like the cut of its game jib. All right. What do we got here? We got a boss fight? I'm not letting you through. Oh, it's boil. It's ass boil. Shit. We both hit each other. So slow. You're just gonna get plowed with the Karasawa. See, this guy's at an added a disadvantage by default by not having the Karasawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's he saying? It's like it's like he's in shock and he's just like, ah, uh, okay. Yo, we got somebody else hanging out. Princess Celestia and Luna, what's up? Oh, I probably should finish the thing. I thought that would be the end of the level. <laughs> Let's take this dumb thing to, what, probably another fight? Oh, yeah, I'm sure all of the weird, dumb uh, issues with the translation is just down to, to budget and... Um, yeah. You remind me of another pilot I knew long ago. I remember my mission. They're gonna pay me to a kill rebel. these guys. I've already figured someone like Thunder. Is this guy uh, referencing anybody from uh, from the, uh, the 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 one game? It's my intention that you do not interfere with my plan. Yeah, I wonder what the, the budgets are, or I wonder what the di- Shit! He is fucking my shit! No! I refuse! Stop moving and let me kill you with my bullet missiles! God! I will end you. Man, he got me, he cut me good. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. He comes on strong, just like unloading into your face with that Karasawa. He'll be reborn. <laughs> you know, I was I was checking out Armored Core 3 the other day because I was interested to see how it played compared to this. Because I played both of them, like, back in the early 2000s, which is, fuck, like a lifetime ago. Oh, my God, I'm so old. That was like a lifetime ago for me. Anyways, um, but it's it's crazy how Armored Core 3, when you start playing it, uh, after playing Armored Core 2... Um, how much it feels like a remix of it because if you look at it it has like it has some new additions to the to the, the like the gameplay mechanics but uh, all the weapons feel kind of like a remixes of the weapons that are here so does the parts all right let's see we've got a new message from Nell Klein has made it to Phobos you fucked up even though you blew him the fuck up his most likely target is the information contained within the Martian control system. What does he gain from this information? What objective does it help him achieve? Raven, you're the only one capable of finding out. I pray for your safe return. 
yeah, the mission formula, the weapons, not so much the graphics and stuff. Like, they definitely introduced a bunch of very welcome tweaks. But otherwise, it feels just like, it feels like a best of version of, of this game. In the beginning, anyways, I played like an hour or two into it the other day while drinking and supposed to be studying and all that. Yeah, I'm actually kind of interested to play through that and play through a couple of the other ones. Um, the PlayStation 2 ones. We've received a transmission from Phobos. Uh-oh. From none other than Leos Klein himself. Oh, God. According to him, Phobos is an artifact left by an ancient Martian civilization. He claims it's an enormous mobile weapon controlled by a high-tech computer. Once again, Klein, like, one-upping the rest of human him, civilization there is and the evidence entire to support species. His claim. According to recent calculations, Phobos orbit has already shifted. Missiles are pretty strong here. You saw me play through the entire arena with a missile build thunder. Now, whether it's a weapon or not, if Phobos plummets to the Martian surface, the damage it would do to mankind would be irreparable. This is our last request. You must stop. I'm not on the last flying. mission, or shit, I'm on the last mission. If this aren't mission I? succeeds, we'll grant the Ravens their freedom. What does that mean? We'll relinquish our control and allow you to live independently as mercenaries. This oh, is a it. promise. This is the greatest reward ever offered to a Raven. I wouldn't advise you to pass up this kind of an opportunity. What this guy just said to we'll us is return. basically, hey, you know, no, I don't even want to go there because I was going to make a we'll free the slaves if you kill this guy reference, but that's, that's basically saying we'll give you your freedom. And I understand they mean freedom to just be like mercenaries. Main but, system engaging yeah. combat mode. Come on. This level looks cool, at least. Like, look at this weird PlayStation 2 shit floating around. I, I used to love shit like this in old Japanese games where you just get to, like, the super advanced area or, like, the alien area, and there would just be, like, weird, unexplainable shit happening around you. Come on, let's go. I fucked it up at the last second. There we go. Let's go have us some fun. Look at this. Where's this technology anywhere else? If it's strong enough to hold my weight, it should be strong enough to protect me from sh I guess you got energy shields. I guess. Audio artifacting isn't stuck in for the rest of it. Yeah, it sounds like it is. Shit. Shit! Got the wrong thing equipped. Now my loadout is paying for it. You know, fuck it, I don't need to screw you. Oh man, that audio that audio artifact is real, real bad. I'm not happy about that. So that sucks because this is like, this is the last mission and this is happening. I can fix it if you guys really want me to, but you won't be able to hear anything ever again. Yeah, I'm playing on an emulator. I ain't got a PlayStation 2 to hook up to this. 
I'm poor. I can only afford my prohibitively expensive gaming computer. What gave away the fact that I was playing on an emulator? <laughs> Shit. Oh wow, I'm out of uh I'm out of ammunition for my chain gun. Oh god, I'm almost dead! What? What has happened? Oh, this is uh this does not bode well for us, ladies and gents. Oh shit. Oh man, this I didn't expect it to end this way. Oh god, oh no. If I lose this, I'm gonna get so fucking salt. <laughs> oh good, they gave me a they gave me my health back. Yay! <laughs> Scumbag tactics, like taking advantage of the game letting Why? you win. Oh shut up. We were nothing but bonds? She sounds like she's reading it, and she has questions about it as she's reading it. So here's the big final... The final mission, the final solution. No, oh, this mistakes. isn't really the final... Actually, this is kind of the final solution. He's trying to nuke the whole planet, basically. He's trying to alien it. strict supervision. Look at this thing. This thing looks kind of cool and kind of dumb. A state dedicated solely to ravens. I'm a realist, not some fool. Does Nexus let you transfer data from I Silent Lines? I know I can transfer data from this to another age. Die, Rebel! And I'm gonna fuck this guy up with missiles. Even though he's. Damn it. Here we go. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I'm doing in the air. I should really be on the ground at this point. Oh, come on. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost through. There's phase one. All right. Ah! I blew up your badonka donk. Now you gotta come at me with that skinny I do squats, weird teal nipples robot robot that you're inside. Is he the robot or is he inside the robot? Like. Yeah, this guy is a fucking problem. Not so much. Yeah, you keep doing your weird circle strafing shit. I got missiles for two, senor. Well, actually, right now, I've got to worry about energy consumption. You know, I really should be using one of those hover loadouts. Um, because my style of plate kind of really goes goes hand in hand with a hover loadout. Oh, that was, that was it? That was... That was fucking it. Hey, we beat Armored Core 2. Hurry shit. Son of the bitch. Ah, oh, you're a fan of Zone of the Enders? I fucking love Zone of the, the Enders. Altered. It's falling toward the Martian surface. I got a, I got a, a, a full LP. I think I got a full LP. Is it a full LP? Yeah, I've got a full LP of the original Zone of the Enders over on my YouTube channel. You can actually uh, click on it below and go check it out. Control mechanism. Pretty badass. I was gonna make my buddy play too, Phobos will stop um, you but then he stop. moved to Texas, so that kind of isn't happening anymore. Fuck it. All right, time to go blow some shit up with my Karasawa that I've built this entire mech around and then barely used. Woo! Boost! 
Get it. Let's make what our escape. Wish? I wish for you to not have one upped all of humanity. That's that's what. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at that. We beat the game. Who's ready for the ending cinematic? Dio! <laughs> We did it. We're the best. Or wait, nope. I already saved. Nope. Nope. Go back. Go back. Go back. Come on, go back. From now out, lurk to Raven. The government Need my water. The it's over there. So far away. This effectively oh, ends shit. the uprising. These things Society are filthy to us. I don't understand how him trying to crash a moon into Mars was him creating a government. It's stupid. It's to know what also, is Phobos really that now small in relation to Mars? Because if that's the case, that's not really a moon. It's a satellite. Which, I mean, granted, I moons are satellites, though. but you get what I mean. I just think he used uh, the wrong means in attempting to obtain what he wanted. Mars is about to begin a new phase in its history. <laughs> yes, goddammit, Jojo. Um, due to strong suggestion, we changed our name from Ted Danson to Dio, and we changed our AC name to The World. Zawarudo. So that, that was the big ending cinematic. And then here's the... Here's the, the credits here. So yeah, it's a pretty shit. Even 17 later uh, years later, I think it's still a pretty good game. I like it. I'm happy with it. Still, still fun to go back. It's probably my favorite of the Armored Cores, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna find a new one because I have a feeling I'm gonna stream all of the uh, all of the Armored Cores. Yeah, it's a good game. I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed streaming it. Let's see. King Thunder says, Mars is about to begin a new phase in its history that we will never see. Yeah, because the, the, the expansion to this takes place on, like, fucking Earth, doesn't it? And it's got such a weird, like, asinine sector-based mission system. No... No uh, uh, arena to speak of. It's actually kind of poor compared to uh, the vanilla version. I'm I'm kind of really on the fence between streaming another age or going straight to Armored Core 3 after this. Um, you know what would you guys rather? What would you guys rather have me do? Would you guys rather have me do all of another age or go straight to Armored Core 3? Because I'm I'm kind of cool with either. I really don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to, like, do an exhaustive, like, stream of all the Armored Core, like the PlayStation 2 Armored Core games, or if I just want to, you know, start, like, cherry-picking. At least the music's pretty good. Man, my shit does not know what's going on. It's telling me that I'm offline right now. I'm not offline. You guys can see me, right? You guys are responding to my horrible voice and bad streaming and all that stuff. So let's take a look at the New Game Plus. Well, it's not really a New Game Plus. Let's look at the, uh, the after stuff. What is this? What is this? What is this? Just a minute. And anything other than hidden boss fights. Percent time. 
I might stream another age. I'm definitely going to sit and think on it. I've got a lot of time coming up soon, so I need something to do, so I might as well stream a bunch of fucking armored core games. <laughs> All right, so when you beat the game, like I did there, let's see, do I get any mail? I can't remember. Nope, no mail. But you get the opportunity to play every single mission here, including the ones you didn't complete or the ones that were locked out by, like, story progression, etc., uh, which is cool. I'm not going to be going through all the through all the things, but what I will do is go over here to the arena where we have some uh, new challengers down here. Some of them are remixes of older ones. Um, some of them are just add-ons. Like here's a couple more things to do. Thanks for buying and beating our game. Um, and it actually ends with. Um, this guy here, who first of all, sick, uh, sick emblem there. Uh, sick emblem, but this guy's also designed to fuck you up. <laughs> like, look at his build. Ah, uh, look at it, look at, look at that. This guy's designed to take you out in like five or six shots. Uh, he's even got, he's even got the friggin' moonlight, um, uh, sword equipped. Let's go to the shop. Maybe I'll buy the Moonlight. I'm never going to use it. But screw it! Oh, I don't have access to it yet. I had access to it in the other one. Maybe I'd actually unlocked it already. But let's go back to the garage. Let's switch our assembly around. Let's just fuck everything up, you guys. Where is my machine gun? There's my machine gun. And let's switch to my bullshit missile get up. Oh, I don't have the other missile. Wow. So we'll equip that thing. That. What's the weight at? 60, 75 out of 65. So we can actually equip the better arms. The arms that I consider are better. Bam! Use that. Get a good booster. You know, I can go past the weight limit. I can actually equip whatever I want at this point. Uh, there isn't really any need to. That's all I have there. I can't equip the better generator here. Because look, now even though I'm overweight, I can still do whatever I want. Just because I've beaten the game. Alright, so... Let's go to the arena and fuck some guys up. We started this game fucking cheating. We're gonna end this game cheating. Who's ready to cheat? This guy's ready to cheat. This guy's really ready to cheat. I'm down for this shit. Scumbag tactics are the only way to win. Hey, Mr. Man on the ground. Have you ever had to fight a floating missile turret? You ain't shit. Look at you, you ain't shit. Look at your health. You're already at half health, Jesus Christ. Okay, that was that was three shots and he died. <laughs> oh, this is a good dumb way to beat this one. Jesus, that was uh, that was dumb. That was brutal. One thing I do like um, about another age is it gives you better versions. It gives you better versions of all the uh, all the, the the best equipment in this game. Um, you do, you get it for completing, like, all the missions in a sector, uh, but it's still, it's still cool, it's still fun. 1,200 credits, what am I gonna do with that? It's barely enough to buy, like, an alcohols. Several thousand people chipped in to buy this AC, the prize money is to be divvied up, but the pilot rarely wins and the investors are beginning to lose hope. Yeah, uh, let's help crush their hope here. Y'all ready for some hard hope crushing? It's like that weird shit you can find on Japanese streams. Except we're crushing hope and not morally objectionable things. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Are your investors watching? Come watch this. He took a hit hard there. Oh, and I'm out of shit. Wow. 
But that's okay, I've got this machine gun, yo. Yo ain't shit. Get up from Agam Vinaga! Got out of words. He died on top of me. Just like my first, second, and third wives died on top of me. It's not weird. <laughs> Oh, fucking stupid. I apologize to all of you for my... For, for me. <laughs> hope y'all are having fun. I'm having fun. I hope y'all are having fun. I'm sure as shit having me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. Oh, wow, my mail client crashed. No, that's not what I'm trying to open. I try to keep that thing open. The mail client. Because that's... Until I get my shit built back up, because I had a, I had like a, like a, you know, sub notification and a follow notification thing set up and everything like that, but I lost it all um, when my laptop's motherboard decided to melt itself off, off of itself, and I haven't gotten any of it back yet. Uh, so just having my mail open is the only way to see if anybody follows me. All right, Lost Lamb, looking for his long-lost parents. He joins the arena to bring attention to his plight. Sadly, his rank doesn't earn him very much media coverage. Sucks to be you, bro. <laughs> the headline after this pipe, pipe, pipe? After this fight will read, Godlike pilot blows load on Lost Lamb. Is arrested. <laughs> Look at that. You ain't got nothing. I wanna fuck this guy up with my laser cannon here. Come. Couple more shots here. That was easy. And a cut for the win. Ha 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 ha. I'm an idiot. Man, we're almost through the extra shit here. I almost don't want to end the stream. I don't know what I want to do, though. Huh. You know, hey, y'all in the chat there, don't you know? Hey, I got a question for you. Um, because I remember in, in the later Armored Core games... Uh, being able to dual wield, being able to equip like rifles or machine guns in the left and the right hand. Do y'all know when that came into the series? Is that a PlayStation 2 thing or did that come in in the gen uh, after PlayStation 2? Because uh, I have no idea and I'm curious. So that would be cool to do some weird dual wielding shit at some point. Okay, Scarlet. Her floating AC looks to be rather simple, but looks can be deceiving, not... Actually, it seems like an okay build. To underestimate her is to risk certain death. Have others have found out the hard way. The hard way. There we go. I said it. Hey, guess what? I'm under at. Ah, shit. I went in the cave. I fucked up. Guys, are fucked up. We're in a cave. I can't fly in a cave. Yeah, you do that, I'm gonna do that too. There we go, this is what I want. I wanna get some range on, a, on you so I can actually hit you with my missiles. But it looks like you're not gonna let that happen, so... Might as well just... float and sting here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you float in a predictable pattern my arm can follow. Yeah, that's totally fine. Wow, you're, uh... You're really eating shit there, huh? Remember that? Remember when that thing said I shouldn't underestimate her? And then I fucked up and fought her in a cave and just ripped her to shreds. Yeah. The dual wielding started in Armor Core 3, kind of. Yeah, there were like a couple howitzers and stuff you could equip in the left hand, eh? 
much more dual wielding options started to show up in Armored Core Silent Line. Cool. Well, I'm excited to check that one out. I'm still going to do, like, kind of chronological and either do another Age or 3 next. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to get to the point where I can just sit there with two machine guns and be like, Hollywood! Yes, I know I'm an idiot. Alright, we got four left. This is our swan song. This is our finale. An aging veteran wanting to relive days gone by. The combination of his caterpillar, caterpillar based AC and years of experience will make quick work of the unwary. Back to the abandoned highway. gonna stay out in the open okay okay that's fine well wow, he is uh, he's actually taking these missile hits like a champ look at that it's a good fight I mean it's not it's not a good fight because it's not fair. Ooh. Want to avoid those. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, and he's got energy and I don't. Oh, my God. Oh, have I gone so wrong? I need to get back into the air. I'm like Sonic. I got to go fast. Into the air. Oh, shit. He actually managed to avoid those. Not those, though. Just watch you burn. You did all right, buddy. Oh, the difficulty on Silent Line is fu on Silent Line is fucked. Ugh. Oh, I'll still, I'll still, I'll still play it. Who cares? If it gets too difficult and I just get super salt, then I mean, I just get to stream myself getting super salt. That could be funny, right? It's me going all, ah, I'm a baby, I want to win. Wah. I should play Destiny, it's so easy to win. Wah. All right. <laughs> Talk shit about the Destiny community. All right, Falcon 8. He belongs to a respected Raven family and enjoys reminiscing about the feats of his ancestors. He has taken over in his father's stead, making him Falcon the Eighth. More like Falcon the gonna get fucked up on this highway. I wish I wish they'd set it up so that the AI could challenge you. Cause every time I challenge the AI, I get to pick the venue and I always pick this fucking highway because I can just blast them here, no problem. Oh, he's got the same machine gun as me, don't he? Yeah, he does. He's actually running a, a less uh, refined build of what I have right now. Because obviously I switched out. I switched out for the reverse joints to get more. Uh... Oh, I do have more extensions still. I switched out to the reverse joints to get. Oh wow, I fucked that up. Oh well. Yeah, you just keep running at me. I've got the... I can weather your attacks and fuck you up. In Formula Front, sometimes enemy pilots will demand a rematch from you. That's fucking cool. That's what I want. Formula Front. Which one's that? Is that PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1? For some reason, the name of that makes it sound like it's a PlayStation 1 game, but I might be having it confused with, like, Front Mission. Ah! Stretching out. Feels good. Feels real good. Twenty thousand credits. All right, two more fights. Two more fights, and then we've beaten the game. Okay, that back piece he has. Isn't that from? Isn't that from another age? I didn't know. I thought that was from another age. Did they just like give them shit from from the expansion pack? 
thing? Are you serious? Hold on. Eh, maybe it's a piece you have to, like, find and grab. It's been so long since I've, like... Yeah, I don't I don't have access to that. That, uh, that, uh, shoulder launcher he has. Wow. Okay. That's fine. I feel like that's actually a smart move on their part, because if that's, like, this is a teaser for... The expansion, you should buy it. It still costs 50 or $60. That's, that's like, kind of shitty, but smart on their part. Oh, well. Screw it and blow them up. Blow them up. Blow them up for good. He doesn't really have much in the way of ammunition. Like, he is expecting a specific fight. It's kind of annoying to me that a lot of the enemies in this game don't really have, like, the ability or even, like, the capacity as AI to... Oh, shit! Or even the capacity as AI to really adapt to what you're doing. Yeah, you go. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's the type of fight I don't want to engage him in. I'm gonna come up here where it's safe. Fucking get him. Ah. Ah. I don't know why I'm doing that. Yeah. And one more and we're done. Liter literally. Literally done. Because <laughs> I got shit to do. But also I've been streaming for almost two hours and that's kind of my limit when I've had a fair amount to drink. What you saw me drinking earlier in the stream, that was like number 10 or 11, I think actually. So time for me to get off my butt and do something productive with my life. You know, besides streaming. Okay. Matthias takes the name of his mentor who was killed in battle. He pays tribute to his friend by keeping the name and legend alive. He is not to be trifled with. Well, I'm, a, I'm trifling. I came to trifle. Came to truffle all over you. Huh. I don't know what that means. You shouldn't know what it means either. Nothing, no, nothing that I say makes any damn sense. Uh, he got underneath before that could cause any problems for him. Where did he go? He made a complete circle around me before any of that could touch him. This guy, oh god, this guy's a, oh no, I fucked up, I have made a fuck, it's that damn laser rifle, cause he does have a carousel, that's right, alright, I need to get my height back, and I need to play this, I need to play this cool, calm, and collected, oh god, he's out of my, no, panic, Panic! Oh shit! Here's what we need to do. Yes. Cheating is the best way to win. So we're gonna calm down here for a second. Nope. And we're just gonna we're just gonna just deal with the problem before he before he can, you know. I feel like we should JoJo this out a little bit. Yeah, 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 I know, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, Jesus. 
He can really fire fast. I mean, not as fast as my machine gun. My Muda Mudas are faster than his Aura Auras. Oh God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can we engage the... You gotta be able to do it, right? There we go, that's how we do it. And there's your weird view. We're actually gonna use this to kinda take a look and see what's going on with this fight here. Cause this camera's kinda split in between us here. All right, so that is the end of our stream and that is the end of Armored Core 2. Uh, thank you guys for joining us again. Uh, I really appreciate you spending your time watching me play a game from fucking 2000. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you should definitely follow us because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing more of these. And if you like this, you'll probably like the other stuff more. Um, the stream will be archived on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's Wu-Tang Chicken, uh, same as the stream, uh, same as the, the Twitch channel, I should say. Uh, there's a link to it below the below your video there. You can click on it to go right to the, right to the YouTube page. Uh, we have you. We have uh, uh, full Let's Plays that we put up over there as well. Uh, we're currently in the process of playing through uh, Resident Evil 5. Myself and a buddy played the uh, campaign in co-op. Um, the LPs are in 1080p, and the audio quality is better because I'm not using the fucking $60 Turtle Beach uh, headset. Uh, either way, there. There's some pretty cool, pretty good full LPs of video games over there, as well as funny one-off like comedy videos and stuff like that. Um, if you like the stuff here, you'll probably like the stuff there. And uh, if you like it, you should definitely subscribe. Either way, I'm Wu-Tang. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Um, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.